I decided to build a press for the shop up in Wabasca. So I built it at my little shop here in Athabasca. And uh, instead of building a little press the same as Princess Otto has, I decided to build this one here and it's capable of 440 tons. That's the two rams up top there. I threw a knife blade in there just to uh, be able to break steel. I think I'll make some uh, aluminum roofs for somebody's razors. So I, I threw that attachment on there, but I, there's nine set screws. I just got to loosen them up and pull that knife blade out and I can put in whatever attachment I want for straightening shafts or what have you. Anyway, she's got a 21 horsepower Subaru motor. Uh, the pump's capable of 4,000 PSI. I tested it and uh, it'll do that and more. There's more adjustment left on the on the valve, but uh, 4,000 PSI is lots. For them rams, I, I bottomed them out and sucked them up uh, 24 hours each way, doing a leak test and everything was good. The hoses are rated at 4,000 PSI, but uh, they have another 50% on top of that. I'd never want to push that, so I'll, I'll leave it set back at 3,500 PSI, just as a safety factor. Uh, this whole press can be torn apart into individual components and reassembled in the field, or it can be hauled up as is. Love this curtain here. It's a chain mail curtain that you you can pull out to protect yourself. It wraps around there, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. <clears throat> Here's the valve body. I, I threw a pressure gauge on there. It only goes up to 3,500 PSI. Uh, when you bury the needle, that's 4,000. But uh, the top can go up one set of holes or it can go down three sets from the bottom. So the top can drop down to where the, the, the bottom bed is right now. Or it can... Uh, go right up and the, the bottom bed can set down in the bottom set of holes as well. Let's fire it up and see what this can do. I haven't really tried it out yet. So here's the choke, just pull that.
piece of half inch steel plate. Bends it pretty easy actually. Works pretty good. That motor didn't even uh, work at all bending that. I should be able to line up four of them pieces of half inch plate steel in this bender. It's 50 inches wide. But uh, yeah, there she is.